Hey, good morning. You know, everybody has a story about how they met their soulmate. And for my first grace guest, it was her dogs that served as the matchmakers. Dee Ford, owner of Dee's Doggy Den, is here to talk about how her and her husband's love story inspired a Valentine's Singles Mingles for dogs and their humans. Good morning, Dee. Hi, thanks. I've got to hear your story. I love hearing about the whole... How did you meet? And I'm grateful that it wasn't just in the proverbial bar. <laughs> Tell me about how the two of y'all got together, you and your husband. Well, I had uh, been running the store for about four years, and Evan walked in the store to have his dog groomed. Mm -hmm. And I recognized him from high school. We had actually dated 22 years prior in high school, and his dog was the introduction to bring us back together. Well, and I've heard that that's not all that uncommon. Dogs do play a very important role in a lot of relationships. That's very true, because if you're a dog lover, you're going to be in different places where there's going to be other singles with their dogs. It's a great way to get connected, and you're starting off with a common denominator, both of your exactly. love for dogs. Exactly. And I think people that do love pets and love dogs are just very interesting people, and they do usually have that emotional connection that they're ready to share with someone else. Okay, how cool, then, that you decided to take this love story, and it inspired you to do an event at your store. Tell me about this event. Well, this is our first Singles Mingles, uh -huh. and we're very excited about it. Uh, we're hoping that other singles from the neighborhood will come and bring their dogs and have just a fun, inside, ex in, ex ex exhilarating evening where they can play with their dogs and meet other singles from their neighborhood and their surrounding community. Great. So you're going to be mingling over cocktails and some dog biscuits at the same exactly. time. Exactly. Are there special <laughs> activities that you've also planned for the evening? Uh, we will have uh, hors d'oeuvres provided by Frankie Little, Little Europe. And we're going to have a champagne bar where you can make your own champagne concoction and, of course, chocolates to inspire mm -hmm. that romantic connection. And, it, and, and then also, does this include special treats for the doggies as of well? Of course. We will have our little hand-dipped milk bones that are always decorated for the holiday. We'll have those for the dogs that come to visit. What a fun way to really bring in Valentine's Day because if you are single, mm -hmm. sometimes it is your, you know, your canine companion that helps you get through some of those lonely times. Exactly. And we're being able to go to a group, you know, be with a bunch of other people kind of in your similar circumstance. Exactly. We're kind of calling this date night with your dog. I love it. But also, it's important to note that this event is benefiting something that's near and dear to your heart. Tell me about Animal Alert. Well, Animal Alert is a program that was uh, founded by Andy Comini, and it is kind of a neighborhood organization that is meant to um, help lost pets uh, get the word out that they're that they've been found or that a lost pet is in the neighborhood please keep your eye out for it mm -hmm. kind of similar to an amber alert right but you it's all neighborhood based and do they and do they do you basically register your dog in, in a computer system correct uh, they have a database of emails mm -hmm. and basically you just contact the animal alert email and they send out a basically an email blast saying this pet is lost please keep your eye out for it or we found a pet does this pet you know belong to anyone and then when they do find a pet they have to have funding to take care of its you know maintenance and right. health and food and and that's so smart because you, know, you can put the flyers on the telephone poles but that only gets you so far and exactly. to be able to have a system in place that really focuses on getting the the dog back to its owner or reunited right. with another owner is a right. great idea. Well, you have a recipient. We do. Yeah, I'm going to have them bring bring this little sweet pooch in. He looks like looks like she <laughs> fell asleep in the process. Can you wake this up? You're on TV for crying out loud. Look this how darling Rolf. she is. Rolf is ready to be adopted. Aww. She was found near the White Rock Lake area. And uh, Romp needs a good home. And so this is, this is basically what Animal Alert does, is it, uh, it, it fosters this, this cute, adorable, ready-to-be-adopted dog until a family comes forward and finds a good home for Romp. Oh, and it's wonderful. <laughs> and, and really, it's such a, this is such a great service because instead, this, this way you can almost bypass the shelters. shelters yes. I mean, this way they can immediately get the attention that they need, get into a permanent structured home. Exactly. Without having to go through the shelter system. Well, it certainly eliminates the anxiety of being being loose on the streets for the dog. So as soon as they get a good loving home, they, uh, they're they fostered in a good loving home and then they find their permanent home and 
then you've got your best friend and companion for a long, long time. Dee's Doggy uh, Den has a lot of other services. Briefly tell me okay. what some of those services are. Well, we're Dallas's first doggy daycare. Yeah. And uh, that's where your dog comes and romps and plays all day. Uh -huh. And then we do overnight boarding. And we have bathing and grooming. We and have a all really, staff. really, really fun, <laughs> cute, cute things as well. We always have seasonal items. Lots of fun items. Well, thank you so much. And thank you. Tell me, tell me the puppy's name again. This is Rob. Okay, Rob. Thank you so much for being here. Also, I appreciate this. And to hear more about these doggy den Valentine singles mingles for dogs, you can check out notsoperfectparent.com.